let's begin our educational session number two on treatment options for treatment resistant depression. This is a well known fact that with first line depression treatment, approximately only half of the patient shows response and approximately only one third reaches remission. So there is so much need for more treatment options after first line treatment. And uh, there are many options available. Either you can switch the antidepressant class or you can consider augmenting with the second uh, medication class. And this is what this educational activity is about. We will discuss various classes of medications which have shown in literature to be effective for treatment resistant depression management. And we will discuss them in terms of their mechanism of action, dosage, literature studies, their adverse event, so that by the time you finish this educational activity, you will feel more confident in knowing and implementing this knowledge. And again, please download the PDF of each slide before you begin these sessions. So without wasting any time, click the next button here and let's start the section number two on managing treatment resistant depression with augmentation strategies. So we finished buprenorphine discussion in our last section. Let's begin this section with discussion of modafinil. So modafinil mechanism of action first. So we know that modafinil is not a direct or indirect dopamine agonist, but modafinil binds to dopamine transporter and inhibits dopamine reuptake, thereby increasing extracellular dopamine level. So the main mechanism is increasing dopamine levels. Now let's discuss dosing and efficacy like I'm doing so far to answer any questions regarding dosing or efficacy. I will be talking about studies that have shown the efficacy. So the study that there are many studies I found on modafinil and I will talk about most of them but try to see what, what dose was used in most of the study and which subtype of depression it shows efficacy at. So this first study is a retrospective analysis and uh, they looked at adult patient from age 18 to 65 and this was a two randomized double blind placebo controlled trial. In first, they did a six week flexible dose study ranging from 100 to 400 milligram per day of modafinil with SSRI. And then second was eight week fixed dose of 200 milligram per day with SSRI. And the study found the results were modafinil augmentation showed effect very rapidly within first week. And this was statistically significant in following areas. First, we, they used a scale called CGI, Clinical Global Impression Scale, and this showed improvement in overall clinical condition, and this is all happening within one week. Second positive thing they noticed was in wakefulness, because all these studies used this Apworth Sleepiness Scale. And then depressive symptoms showed improvement in the HAMD 17 item scale, and then fatigue, because they use fatigue severity scale. So all the symptoms in the scale showed improvement within one week. And combination with SSRI was well toler tolerated in terms of side effect profile. Now, as I mentioned, I found many studies on this, so I'm not going to go over each study in detail, but I created this table for you all. So I will talk about some other studies now. And we will only discuss what dose of modafinil was used 
and what symptoms of depression showed improvement because this is clinically relevant now. So this study published in 2007 by Fava, they used a dosing ranging from 100 to 400 milligram per day and this study showed improvement in depression as an augmentation agent to SSRI treatment but you see those things in green? It particularly was more helpful for patients experiencing fatigue and excessive sleepiness. This is where that increased dopamine action comes into picture. So patients who are struggling with fatigue, excessive sleepiness, modafinil augmentation will make more sense. Similar results were seen in other studies. Debatista. Uh, Debatista published a study in 2003 here they used a dose ranging from 100 to 400 milligram per daily again. And this was again actually used <clears throat> for patients who were not responding to their ongoing antidepressant treatment. And again here they found a very rapid increase in improvement in symptoms, uh, just like the first study we talked about. But again, it was more effective for residual fatigue and sleepiness. So when we take history, we need to keep a close eye on those symptoms. If fatigue and sleepiness are not getting better, modafinil makes more sense. And these and this study also shows well-tolerated effect of modafinil with antidepressants. And then Fava published in 2005, but this time he used uh, they used 200 milligram per day dosing of modafinil same effect, well tolerated, good response, but specifically for patients with fatigue and sleepiness. Fourth study published in 2007 by Dunlop. And uh, this study used a dose uh, at 200 milligram per day and uh, similar results that depression showed improvement, but more in patients who have excessive sleepiness and the last one in 2011 used a little higher dose at 400 milligram per day and uh, same effect, well tolerated uh, with fluoxetine. So this is uh, our results on modafinil augmentation. You can use dose ranging from 100 to 400 milligram per day uh, in addition with antidepressants. So we finished our section on modafinil. Let if you're interested in learning more, Join our conference where I have done discussion of 11 potential augmentation agents for major depressive disorder. Mm -hmm.